So I'm working on getting the evaporator spout um, melted so we can get some, get the water out of it. And Eric told me to put my heat gun on it. So I just wanted to show you my heat gun. <laughs> it works wonders. Getting ready to get our weekend boil on. Maybe. And the virus don't come get me first. It sounds like somebody's piddling in the background, but it's actually just the evaporator pan emptying out. So water from me washing the pan I was getting there so the other day I was washing the pan out and I couldn't get it completely emptied out by myself so I was waiting for Eric to come help me and in the meantime it froze so I had to thaw out the spout here to even get anything out of it and we've got a few ice chunks going on in here so you know, you wouldn't want to start a boil without a challenge. Makes it more interesting, right, baby? Yeah, I don't know what you said, but... I said we wouldn't want to start a boil without a challenge. It makes it more interesting. Right. So, still out here in the sugar shack, boiling sap. I'm actually all alone right now, and I'm kind of one of those social people who... Uh, Enjoys talking to people. So I guess I'll talk to you guys. Eric's inside editing the video for our chicken tractor, which is coming soon. Um, so here I am boiling out in the tent and I am not as good at building and keeping fires going as Eric is. So I poured three more gallons into our evaporator pan and now I can't get the boil back up again. It's boiling a little bit. You can kind of see, but well, maybe you can see. Sorry, bad camera ability there. So I have to tend to this fire. So we'll see what's going on. Take a look. If you have any comments for me about what I can do to be a better fire tender, let me know. But I'm going to tend to this fire and then check our RO because I think our IBC toe is just about empty. I'm checking on the RO. We've got quite a bit of sap to boil today. Um, right now in the tank I think we have about 50 gallons and Let's check what we got left in the IBC tote. Oh, does not look like much at all. Actually, I think I might turn this off. And guess what that means? It means it's time to collect. Time to collect the sap. So my husband, the great fire maker, came out and bailed me out here. Apparently, I needed to split more wood, and I didn't know that. So I put some big chunks in there, and I guess that doesn't make the fire hot enough. I'm used to building fires in the wood stove in the house, so I was just keeping a nice, warm, even keel like I would in the house. And I needed to split wood and have smaller pieces. So I've learned that. This is always a learning experience. And me and Eric are a great team. We work together, teach each other new things all the time. So thanks. Thanks, babe. We are boiling now. Can't even see the bubbles. Oh, there, there's some. See them? See? Look now. You'll miss it. Look now. Sap hair. Just don't care. Through the sap evaporation, like, there is. Dun dun. Candace and Sophie. Discussing our new homeschool plan for Monday. Yeah, what's that? when all the schools close for three weeks and I have to homeschool my daughter. And I'm lucky enough to be a teacher and I can do that. Yay. Kindergarten teacher. 
They're great. At and amazingly, school. just a week ago, she told me that she wanted to be homeschooled, and I said, "Never in a million years would I homeschool you." How did that work? <laughs> How'd that work out for you? Yeah, I think I jinxed myself. Yeah. We'll work through it, won't we? There will only be minimal tears from me. And that was the update from Ganya Farms. Okay guys, hey, I wanted to show you something real quick. This is our evaporator pan, and it's it has dividers in it. You see the divider uh, here and right here? There's, I actually have some cutouts here. I'm going to try to see if I can get you. That's uh, really really steaming good well right in that corner right there there's a there's a cutout in the divider and what that and there's one then at this end right here there's a little cutout I don't know if I can get my finger on there maybe you can see it there's a little space right there behind that foam so what happens is we we put our sap in here at, at this corner and it travels through this portion of the divided pan through the little hole there up the middle, back through there, and all the way up front where I have a just a ball valve here. And what that does is when the sap gets more dense from this divided portion through the center, through the finish, more finished portion, that travels that sap all the way through there like that. And I'm gonna have Candace now dump in uh what we got there, three gallons. We're gonna dump in three gallons here, and you can. I'm hoping that the the steam lets up here for just a minute, because you can. Maybe I can try try to do this, because you can really tell how the the new sap looks as it flows through there. Um. All right, we'll try this here. Go ahead, try it, Candice. We'll see what happens. Now it cools at two, so once it starts cooling, you can kind of watch the sap go right through the divided pans. Now that it's cool, you can probably see a little bit more of the flow. Mm -hmm. You can see the color differences in each of the channels. So this is my RO sap over there that's roughly 4% sugar content. This has been boiled for about an hour, and then this is hopefully really close to finished syrup right now. If I take the if I take the boil where it's down really low, it gets it really close to syrup. But it's also with this big of a pan, it's uh, very easy to uh, scorch it. So you have to be very careful because with this pan, the surface area with the fire underneath there, it'll scorch a whole. A whole divided portion of this pan so you have to be really careful not to get it too low so we do have to do a little bit extra finish boiling that way but that's more a little bit more of our setup in our pan uh, I really like the pan I've I've had good luck with it the last two years I don't believe we're gonna change it in any way right now um, unless you can make it lighter <laughs> yeah if you can make it lighter and um, boil more sap for us faster but I think we're Hey, I think we actually get through it pretty good. What do you girls think? Yeah, it works really good. It yeah. does. Yeah. Once it all done, it's so sweet. <laughs> so there is a extent. And I know he doesn't want to toot his own horn, but Eric actually made this pan. Yeah, well. Toot toot. <laughs> okay, thanks guys. Hope that uh hope you guys learned something here. Oh, show them the uh, show them what we do with the other pan. We just all we do is fill this with raw sap. So, or not Ross, I'm sorry, concentrated sap that came out of our RO system. We pour that in. That's just a stainless steel stock pot. I have it roughly measured out into there where three gallons is, so I know every time that we're t we're dumping in three gallons. This isn't quite three That's gallons. not three gallons yet. So. But what we do is we set it up here. Yep. And then it warms it. Yep. And that system we may end up... Uh, we may end up changing a little bit next year and uh, i've seen some really cool stuff with um people putting um the buffet style pans on here and then running copper tubing like around where even around the the exhaust where it warms up that copper tubing and then the sap will warm up 
through the copper tubing and then dump just trickle into the pan with you know a simple ball valve or something and it looked like it was pretty cheap and easy to do something that uh everybody said works really good so we might look into something like that for upgrade next year we kind of went big with the ro system this year and so Maybe far not. that's yeah so far ro's worked out really well too so yeah. So we're still boiling, it's Saturday evening now, and we've enjoyed a full day of the outdoors. I can't complain about that, how about you? Uh... I think his face is frozen. It's so cold out today. It's stuck. Oh, it's stuck, it's sticky. It's from all the sap, it's my... sticky. If I emote too much, my face freezes. So... Yeah, my beard makes it. Oh yeah, it's stuck. How's your beard? So anyway, we have some <laughs> evaporator, we've got some in the finishing pan, and we're going to have some in bottles.